When magnetic field lines pass through a flat surface, we can define a quantity called the magnetic flux that represents the number of field lines penetrating it. If the surface is rotated about the field lines, the magnetic flux does not change. However, the flux does change if the area changes. The flux also changes if the surface is tilted, falling to zero when the surface vector is perpendicular to the field lines. The cosine theta term in the equation accounts for this. When rotated past 90 degrees, the surface normal vector and the magnetic field vectors are in generally opposite directions. Now the flux is negative. Any surface can be built out of many tiny surfaces. So by letting the square become infinitesimally small, we can use calculus to define the magnetic flux through any surface.